Hello, so let's do a little bit check. Today is the last day before the rewards, so nothing much actually changed. Still, Vervin Slash, Frost Strike, and Poison Arrows are the main ones. This is basically Hardcore Korea server, but I, I checked normal one, it's the same thing. There was something new. Someone is pushing a little bit of damage with Shield Strike. Shield Strike is really good. You need those lower rows, and you have a lot of map clear with this, which is really nice. He has Transcended version, but you don't need Transcended version for this build. There is also Firestorm in here. A little bit of diversity of the builds, but the problem is on the leaderboards, everyone is gonna use the skills that they do the most damage, but they do mapping with other, other skills. I've seen some whirlwinds. Whirlwinds plus charge releases plus electric balls, even thorn explosions. But those are just like comfortable mapping builds. They already have so much damage, it doesn't matter what they're gonna play. This dude is actually running Mirosetti Sailboat on the Firestorm. This is really insanely good shield. It gives you Earthquake, the one that you can pick up on the on the map as a Sanctum. Helps with the map clear a lot. Firestorm is also good, but Warrior Shadow works really well. There is some Wine Blades, but for the Wine Blade you need the Moon Halo. But yeah, people pushing with Wine Blade a little bit still works really well. With the area effect stacks on the zodiacs and the items, nice build to do. Some explosive slashes, but dude is dead. Yeah, I'm not checking a summons. Summons is really simple. Everybody is doing fun blade sentry, and the main reason for that is I think it's the basically unique. Unique uh, Quiver, and let's check his Lacrima. Yeah, and he has the unique bow in the Lacrima that basically changes how Fun Blade Sentry works, so everybody's pushing damage with that one. That build is really good. If you have the bow, you have the Quiver, and if you have the One Guard Gaze, you can pump so much damage with this one. Minions is simple, like, nothing much about that one. Just Wrathful Knight. Yep, just pumping damage with that one, like on every every other season. Leaderboards on the Europe season normal looks a little bit more diverse, more stuff in here, but still Poisoning of Arrows and Frost Strike is still dominating the leaderboards basically. There is Cross Slash one, Cross Slash is good and he is doing uh, maximized damage so you benefit a lot from that. But again, like on every single one you're gonna see Caprice Hut, like that's how people push damage with those really good uniques. With Warrior Shadow, Cross Slash is, is pumping a lot of single target damage. You don't need any uniques for Cross Slash to work, just, just Warrior Shadow and the Cross Slash itself and you can pump pretty okay damage. Plus with two, with dual wielding build, you can have one extra jewel slot on the dagger, which is nice. I've seen some Earth Blows. Earth Blow is kinda interesting right now. This dude switched to Fear Strike Verwin Slash for the mapping with Watcher Stick. Makes sense, just a mapping build to push. But I think Earth Blow is not a bad not a bad choice. Is this dude running Fissure? Yeah, this dude is running Fissure by the way. I tried to do Fissure build. It's kinda okay, but I think there are better choices than that, than a Fissure right now. I tried pumping with this one, it was kind of interesting, works well, you have like, damage is not too crazy, map clear is okay, 800 area effect, I don't know if that's enough, I was running like 1k, after 1k it kinda starts to fall down the area, it doesn't scale as much, but for Fissure you really want to have the gloves by the way, he is not running gloves, you need aftershock gloves, in order not to lose earth energies, and if you can keep your air energies, you basically do you basically doing two fissures because it consumes two earth energy stacks without the gloves. With gloves, it can consume one, and with transcendent gloves, it doesn't consume any energy. So I thought that build might be viable. I tried it, but I kind of gave up on that one. Maybe I'm gonna come back to it, but fissure is not a bad choice. Works similar to basically frost strike, just 
worse version of Frost Strike, if you can think if you think it that way. People are pushing with lightning arrows, by the way, looks like. Like lightning arrow on uh, lightning arrow is good, right? Because you get the extra amp per lightning energy. So if you're running 10 energies, you get so much more amp on this one. Map clear is insane. I don't know about single target. This dude is pushing, but it's hard to say if he got his damage from the bug or his this is actual damage. Poison Skiva is another one. Doing, but this one is low life with enrage. Basically, if you're doing low life build, you can awaken your um, warrior shadow to one extra warrior shadow when HP is at 40% and lower. So you basically get two shadows. Also works, but that enrage build, low life build you can do on any skill is gonna be good. Pumping decent amount of damage, 45 bill. I think this is this is the correct, this is not bugged one by the way. Ice Crystal Arrow works also well. As I said, like Europe Europe leaderboard's a little bit diverse. I don't know, either people are not going that mad for the single target damage, they just enjoy the gaming, but plenty of viable builds. I don't see Earth Blows in here, which is a little bit weird. Even someone with Dagatro, which is crazy actually, with Acubance Mist. I don't know, I tried this, I didn't like it. But it looks like people people pumping maps with that one and even damage. Is there any earth blows in here? Oh, poison claw. Yeah, not too big damage, but still works with. with you don't need any unique spot deadly poison claw, and with amount of area effect we can get this works really well. Again, damage amplification per poison energy stack, which is really nice one. That's why he is doing maximize build because. He gets so much amp. His damage is huge. I'm looking for some earth blows, but I don't see any explosive slash. Not too much damage. It looks like this dude is new. But explosive slash should be good, but not as good as other options. Is there any crescent slashes in here? There is, but for crescent slash you need the shoulders. This, this dude is probably removed the build. Crescent slash is also good. Yeah, this is... Maybe I can find some Earthblow build? Yeah, this is Earthblow build. I mean, it's it's a little bit weird that he is not using Mountain Root. There is Unique that gives you maintenance. Basically, maintain position stacks. And with those stacks, you can scale pretty high, actually. Earthblow might be something that's gonna come up later into the season. Crescent Slash, another one. Yeah, Crescent Slash, you really want the shoulders, either Transcendent ones or non-Transcendent ones. It does a lot of damage, by the way. Together with Warrior Shadow, you can pump some good damage. And you have enough uh, range, actually, with that one. Especially if you can do uh, Watcher Stick in your Lacrima for some extra map clear. Works really nice. Yeah, basically, this, this is wrap up. Nothing else come up. A lot of testing is still being done, but yeah. These are the builds right now. Probably there's gonna be more. I'm probably looking at a little bit too early, but I'm probably not gonna be able to watch, to look at it later, so yeah. So I hope you guys are having fun on the new season. GDs, have fun. I'm probably gonna do some of, some of those builds, for build guides basically, but I'm not rushing. Takes a little bit more time when you can't do when there is no zodiacs basically, right now. But after they fix the zodiac on the website, I can do some more builds. But yeah, GGs have fun, and see you in the next one.